now hearing the chilling 911 calls between Orlando nightclub shooter Omar Mateen and police negotiators. 49 people were killed and dozens more injured in that attack. In the calls, Mateen makes his motivations clear. Hello there. Hi there, this is Orlando Police. Who am I speaking with, please? You're speaking with the person who pledged his allegiance to the Islamic State. That's how Omar Mateen identified himself to police the night he stormed into Pulse nightclub in Orlando, killing 49 people and injuring 50 others. The first call came in just after 2.30 a.m. on June 12th. Mateen repeatedly hangs up on the police negotiator, who tries calling him back dozens of times. Mateen tells the negotiator early on that he wants the U.S. to stop bombing Syria and Iraq. They're killing a lot of innocent people. So what, what am I to do here when pe my people are getting killed over there? You get what I'm saying? Mateen then tells the negotiator that there are cars outside with bombs inside them. Your people are going to get it, and I'm going to ignite it if they try to do anything stupid. Okay, I, under I understand that, and I'll pass that along. Can you tell me what vehicle? Because I don't want to see anybody get hurt. No. But I'll tell you this. It can take out a whole city block almost. At one point, the negotiator, who identified himself as Andy, is heard telling police he's not sure Mateen is in the club, saying it sounds like he's in a sterile environment. Mateen eventually hangs up the phone, and it takes about 20 minutes before police can reach him again. And, and, and let it be known, let it be known, in the next few days, you're going to see more of this type of action going on, okay? Okay. I understand that. I can pass that along. Where is that going to happen? None of your business. The last call was around 3.25 a.m. where Mateen says he is annoyed with the calls and hangs up. The negotiator isn't able to make contact after that. Now, there are several news organizations that want the city to release even more 911 calls, many of those calls coming from people inside the nightclub. Right now, the city opposes that, but a judge says she will listen to the more than 200 calls and then make a decision from there.